Once you've sent out your price quote, one that includes three options, it's time to pick up the phone and try for an appointment. Ask for the customer and take the curse off the call. Do this by asking for permission to continue. This way you don't catch the customer off guard. Once this is done, you're going to want to address their price quote, which is the main reason they requested information from you. Keep in mind that it doesn't matter if the customer saw the pricing information, you're going to ask for the appointment regardless by offering appointment choices. In other words, if the customer saw your price quote email, go for an appointment. If they didn't, still ask for the appointment. Next, you're probably going to need to handle or address some concerns and objections. These objections may be questions that you need to answer before the customer will agree that they want to come down. Answer these questions if necessary and go straight back to asking for the appointment. Once this is done, you need to validate the appointment. This involves getting the customer to write the appointment down and give dealership directions. Remember to have the customer write down the salesperson name here as well and get the best contact information for the customer. Finally, always confirm appointments if they are not on the same day. In other words, if it's 7 p.m. and the appointment was set for the next day at 11 a.m., confirm that appointment. This will increase your appointment show rate. For hundreds of courses focused on automotive process, structure, and marketing topics, visit drivingsalesuniversity.com.